Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing great and staying safe. So, I purchased few items from Nike, and uh, they are purchased over a month. So, I was trying to film this video, but uh, I wasn't getting that mood. But today, I sat down to uh, show you what all products that I've purchased. Also, I've created this look with the new products that I purchased from Nike. I will be uploading the video soon. So keep uh, your notifications bell on. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you are updated with the latest videos that I upload. So before we begin, I will mention all the products linked in the description box so that if you want to purchase any any items you can directly click on the link and it will take you to the Nike website so without any further blabbering let's continue with the video so the first item that i purchased is this l'oreal uh, infallible foundation i'm in the shade 106 sun beige so talking about this foundation it is quite uh, pigmented and you get a good coverage but uh, i don't think so that this is the perfect match uh, for the shade i think i should have gone a uh, shade above uh, this uh, sun beige because it is a bit lighter for me i'll definitely try for another shade but talking about the foundation, it is a full coverage foundation and I quite like it. I think uh, I purchased it for around 750 and we have uh, 35 ml of the product. But I'll mention the price in the description box so that you can check that out. Okay. So now we'll continue with the second uh, purchase that I've got from Nike is this sugar face palette so this palette is in the contour d force face palette 01 subtle summit this is how it looks like and you get the three face products bronzer or contour highlighter and a blush so i got it around 7.99 and the time i've purchased this uh, face palette i am utilizing it like hell and i quite liked all the shades especially the highlighter it is quite good and you do not have that chunky particles and the blush is also not very pigmented that you get a blast over your face yes it's decently pigmented and you'll get a good flush of uh, blush on your uh, face so yeah, this is the second purchase. Let's move on to the next one. I got this uh, Makeup Revolution Velvet Rose Palette. This, I got it for around 950 but I'm not sure about the price. I'll definitely mention the price. So this is how the palette looks like. You will get all the varieties of the brown shades that you can uh, go for you also have a highlighter shade here a gold shimmery shade here and you also get a black which you can utilize it to fill your eyebrows or you can create a wing liner as well so yeah since the time of purchase this palette i am i am already using it quite often and uh, I created this look, this eye makeup look with this palette. So if you want to check on how I've created this makeup look, then keep on watching and also subscribe to my channel. So let me show you the swatches. So this is how it looks like, let me swatch it on my hand. The 
quite good. Let me swatch the highlighter shade as well. So yeah, I'm quite liking this palette. And yes, if you want to go for a nude look or some kind of a brownish look, then you definitely go for this palette. I would highly recommend you guys. So the next item that I got is this sugar loose powder. This is in the shade, this is a tinted powder and in the shade 30 Coco Chino. So this powder is very finely melted on your skin when you apply it and doesn't have that chunky particles as well and also gives you a good coverage while you are applying it to mattify your foundation and this is the product and this is the packaging so yeah uh, I am quite liking it and th since the time of purchase this one uh, I am utilizing it a lot uh, for my makeup tutorials and my makeup videos uh, I was already using Maybelline uh, loose powder and it is quite similar to the Maybelline one but obviously this gives you a good coverage as well while you are applying your foundation so yeah uh, this is a thumbs up for me so the next item is this Nykaa anti-pollution sun shield foundation uh, I am in the shade warm nude 06 this is how the product looks like from inside and uh, talking about the foundation it is quite dewy when you apply it you do not get the complete matte effect but yes you get a dewy effect when you apply this foundation and this shade is a perfect match for my skin tone since the time uh, I have purchased this product, I am quite liking it and I would also highly recommend you to go for this uh, when you are going for a foundation purchase. So next item is this uh, Wet n Wild Primer. So it says Photo Focus Face Primer base day tint so uh, talking about this primer uh, it is not a silicone silicone based primer rather it's a hydrating primer so in case uh, if you, you have a dry skin then I would definitely suggest you guys to go for this foundation but if if you have uh, if uh, skin type where you have open pores around your nose and this this area so i would uh, opt you to go out for a silicone based primer because uh, that will mattify and uh, create a layer between your foundation and your pores and your foundation will not merge into your pores but if you have a dry skin yes definitely i would re recommend you to go for this wet and wild foam. the next item is this swiss beauty eyebrow and gel eyeliner, eyeliner two in one uh, again talking about the packaging it is quite luxurious and if you open the box you will get a brush for your brows and for your eyeliner this is a dual ended brush and this is the product so on the top you will get the brow product this is a dark color for your brows and at the bottom you will get the gel eyeliner so i've used these both products today to fill in my brows and also to apply the eyeliner i've also used the gel eyeliner as my kajal as well so yeah this is a very good product for you to go for uh, a product where you'll get the liner and the eyebrow uh, in a single packaging and uh, it is quite affordable too you'll get it around 299 or maybe, uh, you can also check it on Amazon as well but uh, 
again talking about this brand this is a very good brand and also making good products so that's the reason i opted for uh, this swiss beauty eyeliner and eye pro so the next product that i'm going to talk about is from the brand tijori and this is their skin brightening facial serum this is how the bottle looks like and i've tried it today it's quite hydrating and yes uh, i have been using it since a uh, since a week almost and it gives a hydrating effect to all those people who have a dry skin and while you're applying your uh, base uh, it will keep your foundation to be moisturized enough so yeah this is a good purchase i'll mention the price uh, in the description box the next uh, item is this papaya face cream for dry skin this is how the packaging looks like quite luxurious packaging though and uh, i'll show you the product this is the inner packaging and uh, i'll show you on my hand so it gives you a very dewy effect and yes it's good for the people who have a dry skin and if i smell it has a good fragrance of papaya as mentioned on the outer packaging as well so yeah good to opt for and quite uh, budget friendly too so you can definitely check this on nykaa the next purchase is this uh, hydrating cucumber face gel face gel this is how the packaging looks like i haven't opened it yet but i have already used this product uh, before and have finished one tub of it already this is how the packaging is and this is similar to a uh, aloe vera gel but this is in the form variant cucumber quite moisturizing has a very good fragrance if that doesn't bother you you are sorted to apply it on your dry dry skin and for this winter for this uh, summer for the people who have a dry skin uh, at least my skin is a bit dry in summers as well so i apply a good amount of moisturizer and a face serum before applying any makeup so yeah you can definitely go ahead and uh, check these products on nykaa or any other website but yes you can uh, that this is a thumbs up from my end to go for these products and add it in your vanity so the next item that i'm going to talk about are these uh, eyelashes this is uh, pack eyelashes in the number m72 this is what i'm wearing right now on my eyes they are quite uh, soft and feels very natural and uh, it doesn't uh gives you an effect that you are uh wearing heavy eyelashes and obviously the brand is very good in uh, eyelashes the next one is uh the lashes from nykaa these are the eyelashes and this is in the variant ott drama so i've been using these uh eyelashes from nykaa from quite a while now and uh, to be very honest they are quite good and gives you a fuller effect they have quite good variants in this and uh, you'll get a glue uh, along with the packaging so and i guess they are around 250 or 270 i'm not sure about the actual price but i will definitely mention in the description box for you to refer to so yeah i'll move on to the next product so i got this hyper curl mascara from maybelline this gives you a very fuller effect to be very honest and if you see the wand this is how the wand looks like it's quite wavy 
and I applied it today as well and once you apply it gives you a fuller effect and it is waterproof too so ever since I've purchased it I am quite liking it and this will be my best recommendation for people who cannot wear false eyelashes and who are looking to go for a mascara who can uh, which can give you a fuller effect so yeah you can definitely go out and check this mascara so the next one are these three eye pencils uh, two of them are from sugar and the and this is from color bar i talk about this uh, one from color bar this is a uh, just smoky kajal in the variant just brown and you also get a smudger uh, at the back for you to uh, create a smoky eye and let me swatch it so this is the shade it is definitely pigmented and uh, you can definitely go ahead and create a brown uh, liner for your eyes uh, and yes it is affordable too so you can refer to this brand uh, the next one is uh, sugar stroke of genius heavy duty coal in the number 06 blue skis so this is the outer packaging and i'll show you the product from inside this is how the product looks like i've used it in one of my video uh, you can check that on my channel i created a blue smoky eye uh, with that and uh, let me swatch this for you and this is quite buttery so it's like just one swipe and you'll get quite good pigmentation so uh, ever since i've purchased it i haven't referred to any other uh, colored eye pencils i always go for sugar products and uh, uh, i have in two variants blue and green but i definitely plan to go for uh, another shades as well the next one is in the shade 03 green light and let me show you the inner packaging this is how the inner packaging and let me swatch this one for you as well and so this is the one swipe application so this is uh this is not quite green fully green but yes it gives you a tint of uh, blue as well and uh, obviously you can apply it as your eyeliner or uh, as your kajal while you are keeping a nude look or whatever the look that suits you so yeah i think the price range is around 500 for one uh, cold pencil but uh, i will definitely mention uh, it in the description box the fourth one that i forgot to mention uh, is this faces canada uh, long wear eye pencil this is in the shade teal and uh, I have created uh, my Eid look with this eye pencil as well. So this is the teal color that it gives. It's, it's also quite pigmented. And so yeah, you can definitely go ahead and check this out. And uh, uh, I would highly recommend you to go for these uh, eye pencils if you do not want to invest on a full eyeshadow palette. So the next two items that I am going to show you are the concealers that I got from Nykaa. They are from Maybelline. One is this Age Rewind Concealer. Uh, this is in the shade Caramel. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the number 25 medium. So this one I use it for uh, hiding my dark pigmentation and this one I this is uh, two shades lighter than my skin tone and I use it for highlighting and both of them are quite good and the wand for this one is like uh, so soft and so buttery so when I apply it and blend it it's it blends so perfectly and 
to be very honest i haven't used any other concealer apart from this ever since i purchased it and this is all this is my go to concealer uh, to hide my dark pigmentations and my uh, spots if i talk about the other one this is also quite good i've been using the swiss beauty swiss beauty concealer uh in the shade uh, sun beige and that is also a highlighting shade for me so both of them are quite good and this one also gives me a good uh, highlighting effect uh, while uh, i want to get my eyes as waked up so yeah i would definitely recommend you guys to go for these options they are quite good and on an affordable range as well so with the lashes i also got this miss clair uh, glue in the variant dark tone this is also quite good glue uh, and uh, doesn't gives you a sticky effect so yeah do definitely go for uh, the one i also have uh, pack uh, glue and that is also good but that is uh, in the shade white or maybe you can say it as light shade but if you want to go for a dark tone like it doesn't give you a false effect you can definitely go for this miss clear one and it it has a dark tone uh, variant so yeah let's move on to the next products uh <clears throat> i got this swiss beauty uh, liquid eye shadow and this is in the number Oh, I'm not sure. Okay, so this is in the number zero three champagne, and let me swatch it for you. I quite like it ever since I got it. So let me do the do the swatch. Okay. The wand is also quite smooth. So if you if you see, you also have many more variants, but I got this one for me to. try on once but yes i will definitely be going for other shades as well in the future once this lockdown gets over so the next item that i'm going to talk about is uh, from the lip range from sugar cosmetics so this is the seal the show lip primer and guys you guys this is a very good purchase uh since my skin is dry my lips are also very dry and they become very chappy while i apply lipstick so ever since i got it uh, i started using it, it as a lip primer and you can definitely see that my lips don't look uh, chappy or the lipstick lipstick peels off so this is quite good this is the inner packaging of the uh product and uh, so guys uh my last purchase are some lipsticks that i got so you will have i got quite a few lipsticks from nykaa uh i will first talk about the lip shade that i'm wearing right now and this is the l'oreal l'oreal uh, infallible ultra matte liquid this is in the shade volupto choco Well, up to choco, and this is how the packaging looks like. This shade is you guys. I have been using this shade since quite a while now for my nude looks. Let me swatch it for you. See the wand. The wand is also quite soft and quite good. Let me swatch this for you. and yes this has a very good fragrance of chocolate so it feels like that you are mesmerized with the fragrance and you want to go and opt for eating chocolates so yeah this is how the shade look like and you can see it on my lips as well okay the next one is this uh, lakme 9 to 5 uh, weightless matte mousse lip and cheek color so this is in the shade in the shade coco soft coco soft let me swatch that for you this is 
okay this is how the shade looks like and uh, this is quite dark for my lips but uh, i definitely mix and match with other colors and try to use it and but yes it is uh, quite matte on your lips once it dries and has a long long wear to your lips so yeah you can definitely go for this option as well the next item the next lipstick is this nika lipstick uh, in the number 03 basic this is how the wand looks like okay let me swatch that for you i know i have quite few new lipsticks no so this is the one this has a slight peachy and light nude tone to it and is good for occasions where you're going for a heavy makeup and you can definitely uh, keep your lips subtle so yeah this is quite good the next lipstick uh, that i'm going to talk about is this matte super stay ink lipstick this is in the number 80 ruler and you guys this lipstick will not get off until you use a makeup remover to remove it and it will stay throughout the day and will not chap as well it feels sticky once you apply it but once it gets dried you will have this as a long wear lipstick all over your day let me swatch this for you uh, i currently have one lipstick in this range but yes i'm i'm definitely going to go for many other colors in this range so this is how the lipstick looks like this is a dark pink color for winky looks so yeah this range around 650 uh, but uh, there are offers always going on on maybelline so you can definitely go and check that out now the next type item is the lip pencil from shambor uh, this is in the number 01 br01 so this is how the inner packaging looks like and i will give you a swatch as well so this is the swatch for this lip lip pencil and uh, to be very honest this is quite uh, expensive as compared to the lip uh, lipsticks that i have purchased but if you invest in th these such products you are definitely investing uh, on a good product and also investing on a good quality product so uh, therefore i would uh, ever recommend you to go for uh, always go for a uh, high end product but yes if you, if there is something that you like about a product you can definitely go and purchase it So the next lipstick that I'm going to talk about are from Swiss Beauty. They are non-transfer waterproof lipstick. These are the two shades. One is 412 Blood and the other one is 409 Smoking Red. Let me open it for you. I haven't opened it yet. So this is how it opens and this is the product let let me swatch it so yeah this is the smoking red color you see and i i found it quite good in an affordable range too so i we obviously know that swiss beauty is doing great and is advancing more on their makeup products so that's why i thought of purchasing these lipsticks and they were quite affordable too the next one is this 412 blood and this is the swatch 
they are quite mad lipsticks and obviously will give you a long lasting wear so yeah these were the lipsticks that i got and this is the last product the faces canada nail enamel uh, in the shade white i guess yeah the shade name is not mentioned here but yeah this is the white color and so guys this is all that i purchased from nika and definitely my recommendations will be mentioned in the description box so for you to refer to so if you like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also click on the like button uh thank you for watching see you in my next video bye bye